What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. This video is entitled, She Has a Problem with Patriarchy Because of Coffee. There's an article in The Guardian about Alicia Garza, who, if y'all don't know who that is, um, one of the female Black Lives Matter, I guess, founders or whatever, and but more recently, that's the that's the young lady who was getting smart and flip it with uh, Ice Cube on Roland Martin's show uh, about the platforms and this, that, and the third. So she wrote a book, and they have excerpts in the Guardian, and her initial battle with patriarchy started because her dad would ask her mom and sometimes her, to get him some coffee in the morning. We can't make this up. So as an eight, nine-year-old, she was, you know, incensed in her soul because dad said, give me some coffee. So she felt like, you know, he a grown, able-bodied man. Why he can't get his own coffee? At eight, nine years old. This is why you can't take certain people seriously. Her battle with patriarchy had nothing to do with, oh, he, I was abandoned. He left the sea. Oh, he beat my mom. He just, oh, he did horrible things. <laughs> Folgers. The best part of waking up patriarchy. So you fast forward years and years later of having all of these meetings and now she's saying, you know, I was in this bad situation with a black man. And it's like, eh, were you really? See, some of you make an experience way worse than it actually was. And in the process, you make yourself look like a nutcase. Because, I don't know, like, is Starbucks patriarchy? Like, I don't understand. Like, Dunkin' Donuts patriarchy? McDonald's patriarchy? Oh, we got a tear down the patriarchy. Because it is Java. You know what? I'm not finna do it. And then there was a, a, a tweet, again, of Jamel Hill. Lyndon B. Johnson needs to get credit for everything he did for black people. And she doesn't. So Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ, had a, he signed the Civil Rights Act, yeah. But he had, but his, he was so anti-black. But he called it, you know, the Civil Rights, well, he was basically called it the nigger rights. But Jamel Hill didn't know that. As a journalist. She didn't know about the quote of, I'll have these niggas voting Democrat for the next four her. As a journalist. You can't make this stuff up. Like you can't, you just can't make it up. And you start, you know, You start looking at the whole idea of patriarchy because the, the, the young lady Garza was talking about how her mother did so much work and her, her father in the house and her father, you know, had a business and, you know, she, she's sure she's sure that he worked hard, but she just felt like he just told people what to do because he told her mama and her to get him coffee. That's all. He, he a man. All he did was go somewhere and tell people what to do. He ain't do nothing. That's basically how she portrayed her own father. So for people to think 
you know, that guys are looking at Black Lives Matter with a side eye, it's because of stuff like this. You, you know, so we need to have organizations with women and women of color and immigrants and, 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 and uh, uh, queer women and women, 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 women. Basically because when I was eight, nine years old, I don't like them men because of coffee. Starting with my daddy. But, but this is the same type of person who would say something like, we're in it for the community. We want black people. Because see, these people have a... have a. Now, let me be specific. These black women have a, 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 a little thing about when it's something that, you know, that they can benefit off of, it's black people. When it's, when it's something that women do that's detrimental, they say black people. So, so, so they, you can get the benefit and none of the blame. We black people. But when, it's, but when it's black men, it's black men. It's the patriarchy. It's, you know, oppression and this, that. It's male, this, that, and the third. But take that back now because when Ice Cube said, aren't black women black people? No, no, we not. Oh, okay. And using that as a reference, if I'm not mistaken, when Ice Cube was on the Queens thing, I think Vivica Fox said, you know, some to the degree of when you get the five hundred billion million, he's like, I'm not getting a dime of that money. But that's what he said. I'm not getting a, a quarter a dime of that. But she's like, well, you know, we gonna get, you know, what we gonna do without two hundred million? I'm, I'm pretty sure she made a reference to women getting two hundred million. And I thought in my mind, so if if we got two hundred, five hundred million, or five hundred billion, the women want two hundred. So mathematically, if it, the other three hundred goes to who? The men or the children? Because the way I look at it, the women are gonna say we need, you know, two hundred. For us specifically, so that means the men need two hundred for us specifically, right? See, or are we gonna go into the we black people? The women need two hundred, and the, we need to split one fifty, you know, or you know, split it fifty fifty with one hundred and make another hundred for the kids. See, this is how people like that think because of the patriarchy, and nobody has ever you know, had the issue with saying, maybe just maybe some of your issues come from your own selfishness and imaginary oppression. There are things that actually happened to women that were definitely oppressive, that were definitely wrong. But when you have to do things like this, then you didn't really have no problems. You were just making a problem. Like you throw your own dad under the bus. Over coffee. I know kids all, you know, they like making their parents breakfast. I made you some cereal. I made some eggs. I did some, they, they like that. But because your dad said, hey, give me some coffee. Duh, ain't I a woman, daddy? Now, there are a lot of people raised by single um, mothers, right? So that would mean, you know, if single mothers want some coffee in the morning, she's oppressive. Hey, give me some coffee. <laughs> Now, 20, 30 years later, there's going to be a, 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 a movement. My, my mama asked me to get a coffee. I hate her. Like, you know what? I'm going to quit. I'm out. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. This is stupid. Peace.